Hey, welcome back to From Scratch Ranch and this video series on our wood burning stove here in the Barnuminium. If you haven't seen the last two episodes of us harvesting all of our own stone for the hearth here and the back wall and then installing all that, make sure you check those out. There's links below in the description. So in this video, we're going to talk about and show you how I harvested this log out of our own woods for the mantle and chainsaw milled it. So stay tuned. But I think I found a tree that we're going to use for our mantle. Came down not too long ago and it's right here through the woods. So I got quite a few of these came down in a storm or something. Got the winch on the side by side there to hopefully pull this tree out once I get it cut and freed up from here. Cut all these branches off. Put some straps around it and hopefully pull it out of the woods. gonna mill this eastern red cedar log I've got here that I harvested from the woods into a mantle for our fireplace. And I'm gonna do that using this steel chainsaw and this Haddon lumber maker tool, vice, whatever you want to call it, mini chainsaw mill that I got on Amazon, link below. It's a little bit pricey, it's about a hundred dollars, uh, but I think definitely well worth it compared to the cheaper models you might see out on on the internet there. All right with that let's get started. Let's see what's inside this box here. All right, so this is the main device. And this fits over a two by six. So you put the two by six across the log and this slides down the two by six and then you clamp the blade of the chainsaw in here. This is the adapter for a two by four. So that fits in there if you wanna make it smaller for a two by four. And then some of the hardware, we got the set screws and some bolts. There's an option to put bolts through here right through drill holes in the chainsaw blade and put your bolt right through uh, and then put the nuts on there I'm just gonna use the set screws and just tighten it up and clamp it to the blade 
And then some pretty thorough instructions here. Uh, the pictures aren't very great, but uh, quite a bit of good information in here. How are you gonna help? You're not gonna help. All right, so we have five set screws. There's three on the one side, on the outside, and two on the inside. And then the Allen wrench. So I'm gonna get these set screws in place. All right, well, even though it came with two extra set screws, they're not for the back, I was mistaken. These are just for the pass-through bolts if you drill holes through the bar of your chainsaw. There's no threads in this side. So these just must be extra in case you lose them. Okay, so here's my two by six. You can see it fits on there nicely. The chainsaw should go in like so. see so I'm gonna be cutting just that edge off there like so if I look back I think I got that about right where I want it so I'm gonna screw this in On this side, which is the more narrow side, it's gonna cut off just a little bit there. awesome I love that red in there All right, so we just set that up there just to kind of see how it, it uh, fits. Um, it looks pretty good. It's overhanging on the sides. Come on, put some, some corbels in, some, some support blocks, or at least to look like it's supporting it. Um, right now, it's just sitting on top of that rock, and um, it looks pretty good. I do have this you know, big gap under here because it's not you know, very even. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, draw kind of a line here just to trace out where the rock is. And I'm gonna cut the bottom side of this. This is really close to the edge here, uh, but it comes in quite a bit here. I'm gonna cut this underneath, you know, an inch or two deep, probably a little bit, maybe, maybe three inches or so um, into the wood so that this whole thing will set down on top of that rock and kind of hide this gap here. Okay, I got my timber back out here. And what I'm gonna do is notch this out. This is the underside of it. Um, I drew the line of pencil here, just kind of traced around where the stone was at. So I'm gonna just make this a little bit darker so I can see it. Just using a marker here. And I'm gonna freehand this with the chainsaw. I'm gonna try and see what I can do here to cut this out. Never done anything like this before, first time. I could be completely thinking about this wrong, but what I really wanna do is just take a chunk of this wood out right here in the middle on that side of the black line. don't want to risk cutting all the way through. It's hard to tell. So I'm gonna see if I can just pop this off, whatever's. Yeah, it seems like it's close. Yeah. Okay, so I just need to get a little bit deeper here. There it goes. Wow. That's pretty good for the first time. Free hand of that. Nice little pocket for the stone to fit in. Look at how nice and clean that line is now. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do here with these is mount these to the wall, like so. So that, now I'll probably trim it down so it's not sticking out so far, but mount these to the wall like this. And what I'll do is behind here is the, the shop so I can get access to the back there and I'll build a support structure to lag bolt it in from the back side. And I'll also then lag bolt it up into the mantle here and lag bolt it from the backside 
into the mantle to hold all this in place. But I think that will look really, really cool. Like these logs sticking out of the wall, like so. So it's about nine, 10 inches. So I'll go 10 and just measure from where that angle starts to 10 and I'll cut. So it's about two inches. I'm gonna cut about two inches off of that. Okay, for this cut, I am going to use my miter saw if I can. I think it's big enough to get that. That's good. Okay. I got about halfway through it. <laughs> Just flip it over and see if we can line up. Because what was happening was hitting the, uh, where the, the blade attaches there. So now I just have to make sure that I am lined up. Okay. All right, well that was super close. Okay, here's a shorter version of that. Yeah, I think that's, I do want it to stick out somewhat so it shows, and I think that'll do it. Gives us a nice ledge to set stuff on too. I'll just put them side by side. And draw my line about the same. All right, so now I need to debark all of this. All this bark I gotta remove. So I'm just using a, just a cheap old pocket knife, an old one I had, just to kind of get under the bark and then just peel it back. That's it, just easy as that. I know this is a lot of wood for a little pocket knife, but I don't have the proper tools for it. So this will work just fine. Especially for a small project like this. If I'm gonna be doing a lot more of this, then I will definitely buy the proper tools. But you can see this bark is coming off really easy. Because I do want it to look rustic and I want the, the colors like this. I mean, the, look at all these different colors. Now I've got where I use the chainsaw to cut these branches off. And instead of having this rough cut from the chainsaw, I'm gonna just kind of whittle this just a little bit to give it just a better kind of look than a choppy chainsaw, uneven kind of finish to it. Look at all this bark we whittled off. Smells good, that's okay. Yeah, I love the smell of cedar. All right, what do you think? How was that experience? I you like whittling? Yes, I love it. And I'm taking some, I think it's like 120 sandpaper and just cleaning up all, all those fuzzies, rough edges. Not necessarily making it smooth, but just kind of cleaning it up. All right, this is the back side of the high wall. We're on the barn side of the barnuminium, and I need to mount that mantle from behind. So in order to do that, I need to remove all of this plywood. So this is why I use screws, because it makes it a lot easier to undo something that I had done before.
the back side of the wall here where I'm gonna mount the mantle. So I'm gonna go on the inside of the bar aluminum and poke a hole through here exactly where I need to put that lag screw. So I know exactly where to mount it on this side. So let's go do that. Probably right there. And perfect. So now I know exactly where I need to put that two by 12 here on the back side and here. I got this two by 12 that I'm gonna use. It was left over from a different project. It's 12 feet long, so I'm gonna cut it in half at six feet. And I'm gonna use this to support the mantle uh, from behind. So since this is big and heavy and now I've got it to the height where it's just sitting on the floor like so and I'll toenail it in here that way when I lag bolt this through the back side it's gonna hold it on the other side just fine all right these are the lag bolts that I'm gonna use here they're pretty big. So I'm gonna use a drill bit, right size for that lag bolt, and go on the other side of the wall and drill the hole through this way so I know exactly where to tighten this lag bolt into that and pull it tight to the wall. I'm gonna drill the hole through on the mantle side here on the left side. It's got to go your way quite a bit. Okay. Good? Yeah. All right. Okay, so now I just need to level it and, you know, use some shims and get it up like that. So now that I've got the mantle placed on the other side of the wall here, I'm going to try to drill a hole through the back side of the mantle there without it pushing off. All right, so now that I got the hole drilled into the back side, let's get this lag bolt in. Oh no. Shoot. All right, well, I dropped the socket down in there, so I have two choices, one, I can unscrew this whole bottom piece of plywood and take that off, get to it. Or I can use this. This might come in handy. Always need one of these out at the ranch. It's to pick up screws and nails and washers, especially out in the pasture with the horses. They can't, you know, have screws or anything out in that pasture. Let's see if this magnet is strong enough to pick that up. Oh yeah. Yep. It's always nice to have the right tools. This thing's awesome. I'll put a link down below to Amazon for this thing. Finish this up by hand. Okay, I've got my two supports here. What I'm gonna do is drill a hole all the way through it. Uh, for the lag bolts, I'm gonna put through the bottom of this and up through the mantle. Now that I've got the hole drilled all the way through, I'm gonna put on a one inch spade bit here to drill about halfway through or so to give me that pocket to put this bolt head and washer all the way through.
Well, that was a lot of fun, and I think it turned out fantastic. I love it. So, thank you for watching, and until next time, keep living the dream.